Hey there, Jen with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a closer look at the Sidichi Vento Women's Riding Gloves, available at Revzilla.com. All right, so on my hand today, I have the Sidichi Vento Women's Riding Gloves. Now, these are sports styled gloves that are mid cuff length, and they incorporate both perforated leather and mesh paneling for your summertime riding, pricing in around $60. Now, if you really want a full leather construction glove, you might want to check out the Sidichi Magella Women's Riding Gloves. So some notes about sizing. I normally wear a size extra small and when I measure my hand, I have a seven inch hand circumference here. According to the Sidichi sizing charts, this is spot on. So our recommendation is go ahead and order the size you would normally order. Uh, do keep in mind that our price match policy is in place to guarantee you the lowest price available. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the features of this glove. I'm gonna start with the entry point. You have your traditional Velcro tab closure, but I do wanna point out in the gusset here, there is a satin stretch material. Now, this is kind of nice compared to gloves that just use a leather panel there, because there's often a lot of bunching, it gets pretty uncomfortable, or they might have no material there at all, and instead you have this piping that rubs against your hand. So this uh, satin stretch material is a nice little added piece in this glove. Moving on to the top portion of the glove, again, we have a couple of different materials in play on this glove. You have a perforated leather goatskin construction, and then also we have that mesh paneling. Again, both these items are chosen to help optimize the airflow throughout this glove. On the top of the hand, there is a foam padding here for some comfort, and this glove utilizes what we call a floating knuckle design. You could see that gap that I'm pulling there with my finger. Now, a floating knuckle design is good to help promote more mobility in the glove. And in the knuckle protector itself, Sudichi's done a couple of things to help add flexibility to this glove. This knuckle protector is a dual density TPU protector. So you can see there's a matte finish and a shiny finish on this knuckle protector. When I go ahead and squeeze here from all these different directions, you can see the flex and give of that matte finish. What that does for this glove is it gives it kind of a broken in feel as soon as you put it on from out of the package. And then when it comes to impact protection and sliding, the shiny portion of the knuckle protector is what hits the ground and slides and helps with that impact. Moving on to the top portion of the fingers here, you're gonna see more of that mesh paneling in play, and it's also used in between the fingers. Again, name of the game here is optimizing that airflow for that hot summer riding. Moving down the finger, there is a uh, accordion stretch panel here for mobility in the finger, and more of that goatskin leather at the tips. Now you might take notice of this little patch here on the uh, pinky and a ring finger of this glove. There's two school of thoughts out there, and one says uh, when you connect these two fingers together, you're actually gonna help protect your pinky in the event of a crash. Others might say by putting these two fingers together, you're actually compromising the safety of your ring finger now by connecting it to the pinky. Now there's not any conclusive data out there as to which one's really better. This is a rider preference kind of thing. So if you're not into this patch material, you could go ahead and check out some other gloves in Sidichi's lineup that does not utilize that feature. We're gonna talk about the palm portion of the glove now. This glove is touch tech capable. However, I've seen it work kind of differently across a multitude of devices. I think something that might be getting in the way of that is the exterior seam. It's a, not quite letting me have a nice contact point when I'm on my mobile device. The exterior seams are so worth it though. I really like gloves that use this uh, kind of design because it removes the material away from your fingers and helps fight any of that chafing or that kind of discomfort on the ride. Moving into more of the palm portion of the glove, there is a reinforcement panel here. It incorporates a silicon print texture and that helps with the grip on the handlebars. And of course, having a double layer system in this high wear area of the glove helps with the longevity. Moving into the heel of the palm, there is a TPU slider. So it's nice and hard for impact protection and again, helps slide in the event of a crash. Coming up on the outer seam of the glove, there's a nice reinforcement panel here along the entire outside of the glove. This can be a vulnerable point of the glove, so doubling up layers here is really good for the protection. And that's gonna be your general overview of the Sidichi Vento Women's Riding Glove. Again, this is a glove that is designed for your summertime riding with some sports styling cues. If you have more questions about the Sidichi Vento Women's Riding Glove, go ahead and hit the info button on your desktop or mobile device. It'll redirect you to our product page where you can see more product features and read reviews from riders like yourself. If you have even more questions, give one of our gear geeks a call at 877-792-9455 or email us cs at revzilla.com. All right, well, thanks for hanging out as we take a closer look at the Sidichi Vento Women's Riding Gloves. I'm John Revzilla. Keep it on to you.